uh, I'm supposed to do just a quick brief. Uh, do we have it? Wait, do we have any legits, or do we have only bootlegs? Uh, that's all. That's all. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Well, here, this is a great example as to why not to have a, a bootleg uh, DVD. Uh, here's a copy of Neon Genesis Evangelion. Uh, who's a, who's an Ava fan? Who's a big hardcore Ava fan? I want. I want. Okay, you. Who is this? Who is this? Shinji. Who is this? Uh, the teacher lady whose name I don't know. Misato? Who is that? I have no clue. Nobody else does either. It's Mary's. We call her Mary Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the mystery person? The girl the in the middle. One. The you biggest know, one. You know what? I think she does from, not uh, that old one called Duel. I think they stole her out of that. Really? Well, now when you when you look at the back of Shinji, thank you for your help. When you look at the back, look at Shinji's hair. Does anybody remember Shinji having this bowl cut? No. <laughs> yes. Uh, in fact, the pictures down here in the bottom are pictures from video, some of the Ava video games. They're not actually from the TV show at all. Um, this has a Blu-ray marker on it, <laughs> but uh, on the side it says Full HD 1080 DVD9. Wow. Let me show awesome. you the, uh, now that we get to the uh, inside of this, which if you can get it out of the sleeve, uh, here's the, oh yeah, here's the packaging. I love that the DVDs come in their own little condoms inside of the thing. But here's our, this is I think secretly my favorite. Okay, now there's a poster inside. Who's the largest character? Of <laughs> Mary Sue. And did anyone spot the Pokemon or whatever this is in the corner? <laughs> the things that you look for on legitimate DVDs, uh, one, there's no such thing as an all regions uh, legal CD. Uh, look for copyright information, look for the region coding information. Uh, this clearly has right stuff, no, no, zo no Zomi, I can't ever say that correctly. Um, and really, the easiest way to spot any of these things is this the bootleg dot hack? Or is this the legit? Yeah. Oh, is this the one that I lost the screen on? My friend's yeah. fruit basket one. Again, with even with bootleg scrolls, what do you? Oh, this is not like you can see it's made of quality goods. Uh, what do you see missing on this scroll? Uh, to yeah. well, all the copyrights. No, there's no ownership information on it at all, which you will never see happen. Yeah. Uh, the beautiful white lines on the, the side. Other, yes, thank you. The white lines on the side are also usually a giveaway that you're looking at a bootleg like wall scroll. Um, the wall scrolls are super easy to spot because there's one company that pretty much does all of them, and that's Great Eastern. I accidentally, ha I have this, or I actually got rid of it already. I bought this accidentally at a show. This is supposedly the soundtrack for Chrono Crusade. Do you want to take a guess what song is missing on this CD? The opening. The opening. That's not important. Yeah, <laughs> not important. No, no, yeah, yeah. 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 the opening song at all. It's overrated. So, um, a lot of times when you get bootleg CDs, they're made by people using home duplication equipment and you're missing songs. Uh, even on the CDs made by people that actually, David was talking about like the Sun May discs are actually pressed so they can actually get all of the information but the books are all different sometimes. I know the Final Fantasy book is different on the bootleg Sun May Final Fantasy. Um, and the biggest reason, like, I always have a hard time convincing people why, especially with soundtracks, why do you care if you have a bootleg soundtrack? Well, one, I want the opening. Uh, but two, the people that sell bootleg products to you don't give a crap, I guess I can say, about you guys. It's all about ripping people off and making money. And the damage it actually does is to people like Valerie trying to sell, who actually bring good merchandise. And if you've seen her CDs, not a single one of her CDs is bootleg. Um, and when somebody sells a bootleg CD for say $15, and yet her DVD may be, I mean her CD may be $29, it makes her look like a thief. Hey, shh. Uh, and uh, so it really actually only hurts the people that are here for us, trying to bring us really good products. Well, yes, yeah. well, royalties. Obviously, people the person, about that. the person, the, yeah, the people that um, actually own the intellectual properties to these products are hurt very badly. Uh, in many cases, uh, it's not one revenue stream that may be the vital one, but a series of a lot of different revenue streams. So if you take one part of the money away to produce it, maybe something new. We're only hurting ourselves. So, um, anybody have any real quick questions before we kill all this stuff? Anybody? Yeah. Does fiberglass really make you cough up blood? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you inhale it during a burning, yes. 
there was actually a seizure of, not seizure, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. 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 Seizure. Yeah. A seizure of a bunch of contraband yeah. in the border of a bunch of bleach merchandise. Yeah, um, yeah, it was bleach. Um, when it was, uh, when it was returned, the decision to make, uh, the, the way to, every, okay, I can ask this, and nobody ever gets this wrong. If you had a bunch of flush, how would be the easiest way to dispose of it quickly? Burn! I love that. It's never, ever wrong. Everyone's like, burn it, set on fire, burn it. Well, um, they explode and fireball. All, and all of the people uh -huh. present uh, talked about troubled breathing. Some of them were coughing up blood. Uh, itchy sensation in their eyes because the plush were filled with household fiberglass. Jesus. So, big deal. When you think about their babies. Yeah, I was like, when you think about somebody's baby sister sucking on a jigglypuff foot that's filled with fiberglass, that's not not harmless. And the, and the arguments that people use to sell things, especially vendors, when we catch vendors selling them, they're like, oh, well, I've got to get rid of these. I bought them. Try using that excuse with drugs and the police. <laughs> it's not a good excuse holds no water. Like, oh, I'm not, I can't do all this coke myself. I've got to sell it. You know, like, that doesn't work. You can't do that. Burn it. Yeah, yeah. Um, this could be a can of worms because I know it, it's a hot debate everywhere else and ignore it if you want. But yeah. where does the line get drawn on people selling fan art? Oh, yeah, that's, that's actually, we talked about that in two panels today. Um, a lot of conventions are cracking down on that because what we were seeing on Artist Alley, which Artist Alley is supposed to be creative people, right. people creating art, yeah. not opening up a Takahashi art book and copying things out right. of it. And what happens is the Artist Alley was turning into kind of a bootleg flea market of what was being sold in the vendor's room. So now people are starting to put down really hardcore rules on fan art with, uh, thank you, so I can kick it or whatever and it won't make noise. Uh, they'll say, okay, more than five prints is considered distribution. And the way I get around that, somebody's like, well, what if I wanted a, you know, a, a picture of an audio card that never existed before? Yeah. Then hire someone to do a commission. Mm -hmm. Commissions are always fine. You know, I guess you know, using someone else's character, that's one thing, but it's a one-shot deal and it's yeah. not duplication, distribution of somebody else's stuff. So um, I have a hard time messing with people's, you know, art. Uh, there, there have been people busted. There was a girl at, uh, probably shouldn't say the name of the convention, but there was a girl busted at a very large <laughs> convention for <laughs> selling. She was just, she had a laptop and a printer, and she was grabbing pictures off of people's DeviantArt accounts and doing prints of them. Oh, and, no. and so, oh my God. Yeah, Girl. so, so uh, there, there are people that do that. There was a girl at a convention I went to, and she didn't know it was bad. She was making buttons, and she had just a stack of new type magazines, and she was cutting things out of new type and making buttons out of them and selling them. And we're like, you can't do that. You can't do that. So some people don't know any different, and especially with artists, you tend to err on the side of education. Like, hey, did you know this is bad? Blah, 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 blah. But um, in many cases, people on Artist Alley now are clearing three and four, five thousand dollars easily at a convention. So in some cases, they're making what some of the vendors used to make. Yeah. More. So uh, <laughs> yeah, look, <laughs> she's like more, more. Yeah. Depends on how big the convention is. And that, average convention that's been the resistance more. we've seen so far, at saying like, you know, please sell your original creations. This yeah. whole, I don't make any any money. Any money off of it. That's what the bootleggers say too. <laughs> Boot people that sell bootleg merchandise say the same thing. Mm. Well, you know, I can make more money selling these bootleg wallets. One of the hardest things I've had, a friend, uh, some friends of mine that were vendors made a decision to start selling bootleg merchandise. Yeah. And then had the nerve to come up to me and go, do you hate me? I'm like, I don't hate you, but you know I can't ever come to your booth and ask right. how your sales right. are. Like, you're stupid if you think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I make a killing doing black market uh, organs, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, but those yeah, are organs. Like killing, 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 Okay, okay, kidneys, kidneys. You wake up in the ice, you stay oh, there. I've got two of them. What did Jan Oh yeah, today Jan. I was. And we said this earlier, but I guess it bears repeating. Jan, uh, a friend of ours who is a director and producer in Japan, Jan Scott Frazier, uh, is taking a terrorism class because she's actually in in uh, school for a therapy <coughs> degree, like doing uh, therapy with people. She's taking a class on terrorism, and the thing she she posted all these facts today on her Facebook, and she said that eighty percent of the money raised comes from the sale of unlicensed DVDs, CDs, and merchandise. And she said, a fact I thought Craig Ayers would find particularly interesting. So, uh, and I never... Well, see, and I never put money, I've never associated anything with that because in my experience, I know people, in fact, several of us know people that are vendors that have family members overseas that produce yeah. and create bootleg merchandise, and we know it, and they, they bring it over here and they sell it. So. 
I didn't think terrorists were doing it. I thought it was so and so's uncle. Yeah. So uh, it's a really interesting fact that we just heard today. Um, you should be able to ask any vendor, hey, how do I know this is a licensed copy yeah, of this? To ask it. Yeah, how do I, I know this? Real. And be reasonable. If they are slammed and they have 40 people all wanting, you know, Hitalia keychains, wait until they're done. Uh, don't <laughs> insist. Like, no, wait, 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 wait. If you have just a second, you get somebody like, you know, Emily Kringle or Val or some, you know, uh, Rosemary or Keith or uh, John Kinder or somebody like that. They'll tell you. They'll say, oh, okay, well, this is what you want to look for. And, oh, well, Mia Recordings is a known, you know, black market distributor, blah, 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 blah. When you ask someone that knowingly sells food, like merchandise that question, they get angry. Quick. <laughs> I almost said the other word. Um, and they can't tell you how to spot the difference. Uh, like we were talking about the posters. Uh, those of you that collect video game merchandise, y'all know none of those posters are the same size. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's harder to reproduce them and it's more expensive. My favorite example of that is a Ayumi Hamasaki uh, cat girl picture. That beautiful and it's a pretty hot picture of her in like the skin tight cat girl outfit. But the poster is like this tall by this wide. So guess what? There's no easy way to reproduce that. I hit just like her torso. You can't stretch her if she turns into the hamster girl. You know, she, you, there's no cheap or easy way to reproduce that poster. You have to have you know specific bleed cut on that poster, and it's a very unnormal size. So uh, that's one of the things. So when you walk up to somebody and every poster they're selling is exactly the same size, and there's no copyright information on any of it. And whether it's, and it's funny because there's J-Rock posters, gaming posters, and anime posters, and they're sadly all the same size. Uh, then you know you're probably looking at something kind of sketchy. It is time to go. Yeah, it's time to kill stuff. Ready? Woo! Woo! Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. How are you going to stick it without tape? All right, security, five feet in any direction. Human blood. Five feet in any direction, security. Like, just tag all of this. Like this, all of you people, you did this. This is what we think of you. Like we ran over your stuff in the steam roller. Really fast. So much energy wasted. So much energy I'm Colin Harvey. I am the chairman of uh, Anime and uh, the founder of KeepAnimeAlive.com. And to your left, Patrick and Jekka from the Chibi Project. If you're not familiar, we destroy things like this all the time. All the time. <laughs> cool. So if you see Pete Chibi Project and you're in a call and you're like, what the shit is this? <laughs> Shizzle. Shizzle. Um, Shizzle. And you enjoyed this, then come see us. Because we'll be doing this. Only maybe not with that. Maybe with fire. Fire. Maybe with explosives. Like, power tools. Blenders. They always kill things in new and exciting ways. Yep. And my name is Greg Ayers, and I am a rabid bootleg hater, and I am so excited I'm about to pee on myself. <laughs> yes. Don't do that. Those are two separate we'll situations. <laughs> That's a different Excited video. That's an R. Kelly type video. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Too okay. soon. soon. All right. so. We've got a bootleg wall scroll. It'll, at least the, uh, the sticks holding up will be crushed. I know, bro. Seems legit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Subaru. Look at that. Hats calling up. Those are awesome white lines. Yeah, look, yeah. love the white lines on the side there. Wait, I can tell you it's a choice bed. We'll put it up in the Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, don't do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, do do oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I am, I'm taking special joy in throwing this bootleg Chrono Crusade soundtrack oh. in harm's oh. way. Oh, oh, this is the second. Oh, my gosh. A second. I didn't even know about this bootleg Chrono Crusade soundtrack. Right in harm's way. What else do we have? This is another thing. Oh, <laughs> and a Negima DVD. <laughs> Definitely. Wait, let's make this a little interesting and leave it open in harm's way. <laughs> oh, let's see. Probably make a little house with some of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That has that Taiwan. Let's move it. Jack and oh, monster. Themed and we do the I work for Monster. <laughs> <laughs> Named after the guy who blew Uh, Tsukiyomi Moon Phase. Check me out. I have a cat. The cat's cleaning its butt. <laughs> it's cleaning its butt. Death Note. Live action movie. Okay. 
But total bootleg. But total bootleg. <laughs> I think that's the one that says MPEG-9 on it, right? <laughs> There's two, so I think it's yes, another one. Yes, this is the one. Oh, no, wait, that's not it. There's okay. another one in here, don't wait, worry. Wait. Okay, we gotta get one of those ferocious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here's, a, here's another one. Oh, no, Yet another Enigma DVD. Well, this is uh, the second season, actually. So, wait. We need a foundation for our house. <laughs> the house of bootlegging. House this of bootlegging. Uh, hey, that already exists. There, there was uh, a limited edition uh, Evangelion S2 Works thing, and it's been bootlegged to hell, so. Here's one of the bootlegs. Is that the one that has the... No, that's not the one. That's, no, that's coming up. Yeah, that's coming up. <laughs> that one. Oh, okay, okay, good. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, this house is about to be destroyed oh, no. by Hurricane uh, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nausicaa! Not only a Nausicaa bootleg, but they tried to make it look official, not with the Ghibli holograph, but just some other holograph sticker. You can't do that! Yeah. No. All region. All regions. Oh, Chuck is making a house. <laughs> <laughs> so you get to watch it fall, and then we get to crush it. I love Yay! it. Oh, so uh, this is the Death Note that is uh, the uh, MPEG-9. No, it's MPEG-2, actually. Oh, what, you're the master. You're playing the, you're the Jenga. They are cloud cards. Cloud cards. <laughs> Make a house. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, a mark of quality. There you go. <laughs> Let's make it rain! <laughs> <laughs> you just light those on fire. Um, I don't know how this would be crushed, but... Uh, oh, no, let the left hat do this, yeah. Oh, no. The Digimon. Digimon! Oh, my God! Open them up. You have to see the insides. Open them up. They're Open like, them. Oh, my God. oh, they're classy. <laughs> Super classy. So classy. These are, are stickers on there? That is awesome. I love you. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> now they have a yard! Yeah. Oh. A moat! Oh. A moat of a spot, so they had yes. to put in the extra. It's Lammy Moat! <laughs> Sometimes, that's what happens. Two. This is one and two. It's like a little Digimon house over here. It's like the doghouse. It's the guest house. Go anime. How is bootleg coming? She can't say that. Uh, <laughs> bootleg Evangelion playing cards with artwork from various and sundry sources. 52 pickup. Can we do it? Can we make it rain? No, those, I was if you leave those in the case, they'll crush. Oh! Hey, your house, your house is built on a strong foundation. <laughs> of lies. <laughs> oh, and there's the, the great one. Oh, it's the accordion. Oh, wow, yeah. I didn't see that. Authenticity. I know. This is totally legit. Oh, yeah, totally. What is this doing here? I know, this is Occupy Bootleg. Whoops! Oops! Oh, yeah, accordion. Now, that should be the fort around our house. Gundam fence! Fence, yes, that's our fence. At the roof. At the roof. Gundam fight, ready, go. <laughs> She's having too much fun with that. Uh, the copyright proprietor has licensed the film, including its soundtrack, comprised in DVD video disc for home only. All other rights reserved. Definition of home use, excluding use of this DVD video disc at locations like bloods, coaches, <laughs> hospitals, hotels, large oil rigs. <laughs> yep, China. Prisons? <laughs> right there, you. <laughs> Prisons and schools. Prisons and schools. Oh, yeah, they're both of them. I think it's prisons. Our last bootleg. I watch anime all the time when I'm in prison. Our last bootleg. A Chrono Cross soundtrack. Oh, no. I know. It's on me. It's an Is it ever? Oh, it's an ever anime. Wow. I thought this was real until two weeks ago. No. Oh. Disappoints. Nice. Disappoints. All right, where you you do the honors? Where I will just if right the first there. Thing. Put it. Make it first. Make it the first thing you destroy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It betrayed you. Colin, it betrayed you. Did anybody in the crowd bring something? Did anybody, did anybody bring, bring anything? anything? <laughs> you guys need to make sure you look when you go home and bring it next year. <laughs> yes. 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 I still vote for that. All of you. Yes. Oh, look at the flag. Oh, and Colin's got the keys. Oh, yeah.
That's my favorite bootleg. <laughs> Look at this Digimon. See the two discs right here. Dude, this is my favorite. The shattering and splintering of the wall scroll. It's completely fun. Okay. Greg, Digimon No. Which one? Did it not break? Hey, hey, hey. Can we just get a couple of good... Uh, There's like a lot that aren't here. broken. Yeah. Can I, Greg? Oh, wow. Read it. Greg. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Oh, my God. You're breaking. Ah! 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 That's awesome. Oh, that, that, was that was pretty fun. fun. Oh, get it off! Don't beat on it too hard, please. We don't do this next year. I'm going to be disappointed. Hey, I said not too hard! Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's uh, better than a lot of things. I'll just leave it at that. What did you think? Oh, amazing. I've never done a steamroller before. It's awesome. Best con ever. Best con ever. This was magnificent. I love this. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, that was brilliant. <laughs> That the sacrifice. <laughs> and Pat grinding them. That's my favorite. <laughs> hey, Greg. Yes. Final every, words. Every, every, every. Oh, better than Disney World. <laughs> I think we're good. Uh, I'm sure I look like a child in candy. I'm like, I don't know. Her laugh was my favorite. There's a necklace to be had right there. Like, yeah. oh, badge of honor. Hey, let's see what the scroll is. Oh, Hold the scroll. Hold the scroll. Hold the scroll. Hold the scroll. Oh, oh, unfortunately, like cockroaches, it survived the apocalypse. I can fix it. I loved it. Anime! 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 So this is the Shimmy Project. Occupy! Yeah. Occupy! So now we, now we eat meat and take it, right? That's, that's, that's the next step to this. Like I want to keep half of that. It's like a snake tits out there.